Built to test your endurance in a world where your worst fears are a stark reality, horror games are designed with the most terrifying reflections of society in mind. Where demons roam freely, old ghosts haunt your past, and the skeletons in the closet are pretty literal. Whilst we've always been told to face our fears, fighting off rabid zombies and psychological torment as a pixelated pastime probably isn't the right way to go about it. And because it's not fun until we're mentally scarred, here are some of the most frightening titles you can find in the dank depths of the horror community. Since we all know about their PTs and Resident Evils and Silent Hills of the world by now, let's go for something a bit different, eh? And yes, Edgelord69, we already know you're hard as nails down in the comments and none of these titles are really that scary to you, but maybe we can just have some niceness and fun instead. I'm Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 disturbing video games you can never play alone. 10. The Cat Lady Rendered in a strange two-dimensional style that brings a dark cartoon crashing into bloody reality, The Cat Lady really isn't what it says on the tin. Where the title might conjure up images of a lovely old woman wrapped in crocheted blankets, surrounded by sweet tabby kittens and drinking hot chocolate by the fireplace, ah, oh, what an image. What you get instead is a depressed lady, Susan, ready to kill herself but brought cruelly back to life by a supernatural spirit. The cats are just there to feast on any spare flesh you might chuck their way, and boy, is there plenty of viscera for them to snack on. Susan can't die until you've helped rid the world of parasites, aka evil people who do evil things, and these said evil people will attempt to do evil things to you too. It is a horrible exploration of the worst in human experience, stipulated with scares and gore in equal measure as you try to carve out a niche of good into this dark and lonely world. Whilst the cat lady might be touching in part, it is a nasty little game to get there. 9. Lone Survivor Considering this is just a bunch of pixels in vaguely scary shapes, you'd think it wouldn't be that world-endingly scary to be on a list like this. Thing is, dearest watcher, that weird cross-stitch texture effect is but one of the things that makes Lone Survivor so unbelievably unnerving. Murky, dark, and rendered all the more inhuman from the lack of firm shape, Lone Survivor makes you traverse through a world as a nameless protagonist attempting to divide his hallucinations from reality. Most in the city have been turned into monsters from a mysterious outbreak, and whilst our character might not be a creature just yet, he is still strange to a disturbing degree questioning his own sanity repeatedly, talking to cats, as we all do, and wandering through to otherworldly realms that hold strange men with boxes on their head. That doesn't sound that scary, but it is quite creepy. 8. Stalker – Shadow of Chernobyl The first in the Stalker series, Shadow of Chernobyl, is the introduction to an alternate timeline where things have gone very, very wrong. By some maligned accident, another nuclear disaster has taken place in Chernobyl, rendering the area around it mutated, dangerous, and pretty darn weird. Of course, you wake up with a bad case of amnesia whilst lost in this horrible zone, searching to find out what exactly has happened and why your character is constantly referred to as the Marked One, since that is not creepy at all. Set in an open world plagued by various types of mutant, Shadow of Chernobyl lets you learn as much or as little as you want to about your surroundings, allowing that to shape one of a multitude of endings when you reach the finale of the game. The title has been continually praised for its intensely bleak and treacherous landscape, populated with supernatural entities scary enough to send you running back across its large ghost town map. Just watch out for bloodsuckers if you want your heart to stay in your chest. 7. Doki Doki Literature Club Wait, what's this? A lovely Japanese dating sim rendered in soothing pastel colours centred around conversing with single women at a high school literature club? Surely this is on the wrong list. Unless, perhaps, the idea of love is a terrifying enough concept in itself to send you running for the hill since romance is a social construct, chivalry is dead, and we're all gonna die alone. Hey, I get it. Aside from all that though, the seemingly harmless Doki Doki Literature Club is not what it seems. Underneath all the poetry and romance lies four young women with troubled home lives and dark secrets, resulting in events that unfold to cause the very nature of the game itself to change. A psychological horror wrapped up with a pretty pink bow. Doki Doki Literature Club is best experienced by not knowing anything at all about the true mixed up experience at the heart of this story. Just if you enjoy a little fourth wall breaking, this game will smash right through the screen and bosh you square in the face. 6. Fatal Frame 2 – Crimson Butterfly 
Above all else, it is Fatal Frame 2 that is consistently marked as the best in the five-part Fatal Frame series, also known as Project Zero, where we play as Mio, closely followed by her sister Mayu, as they explore an exceptionally creepy ghost town. It's never a well-lit cityscape full of friendly people, is it? Armed with the power of their Camera Obscura, which is a camera that has the power to exercise angry ghosts should they get grabby from the afterlife, the sisters must try not to get sucked into a ritual sacrifice by said spooky dead people, rendering the whole experience rather horrifying as a whole load of ghosts really want to see you get strangled. Filled with hellish visions and a dark underground abyss where souls are collected, Crimson Butterfly is a strange, scary experience to attempt to get through. Since players couldn't actually finish the first game due to it being so terrifying, Fatal Frame 2 was designed with an even more involving storyline, alongside improved visuals and gameplay to make everything far more intense while simultaneously extra engrossing. A very nasty trick, that, to make you get to the end. 5. Soma a science fiction survival game that sees you try and find your way through an underwater research facility, Soma is a psychological horror that relies on a terrifying environment rather than making you jump out of your skin. Frictional Games, the company that developed the two amnesia titles that have scared people shitless in the years since their release, unveiled this title in 2015, receiving an ocean of praise for their commitment to a distinguished, scary setting populated by genuinely horrific creatures. The general premise of Soma is frightening enough on its own, chucking a metal shack at the bottom of the ocean that's oppressed by fears of drowning and darkness. But to then throw alien life forms and robotic clones on top pretty much seals the deal. Trying to work through identity as a concept by facing machines with human memories is enough to give anyone a crisis, so better you bring a friend along for the ride to share the burden fairly. 4. SCP Containment Breach Considering this is literally the spoopy Reddit edition of both horror and video games as a whole, it really has no right being in any way scary. And yet, when faced with a weird four-eyed statue monster endlessly teleporting behind you to smack you on as you try and run down dim corridors, the fear became a stranglehold on audiences to the point that videos of players screaming were the only thing populating the internet at one very horrible point in time. There is no denying that it looks goofy. Heck, SCP as a concept is some good, goofy fun, but what makes it truly terrifying is the developer's attention to both soundscape and a randomly generated layout. Setting up a foreboding atmosphere and then populating it with weird monsters is a recipe for success, made all the more interesting for the blink function that allows SCP-173 to pounce should you become too comfortable. 3. Siren Blood Curse the third in the Forbidden Siren series, Blood Curse hones in on the defining qualities of the game so far and ramps them up to 11, throwing you into an episodic narrative as you attempt to survive a cursed village in a lonely, remote area of Japan. This time following an American TV crew as they visit the vanishing village of Haneda, you play as each of the visitors to the cursed area, forced to sneak around to find your escape as Shibito, that is zombies, rise from the dead and come to kill you off with their bare fists or whatever weapons they can find. Fighting is so last year, after all. Blood Curse, and indeed the whole Siren franchise, is so uniquely entertaining and scary for its introduction of the sight-jacking ability, wherein you can look through the eyes of your enemies to see their plane of vision and judge exactly how you can sneak past them. Staring through the eyes of the undead offers up an experience like nothing else, as seeing your little head poke out ready for a beating when you thought you were hidden is a strangely terrifying moment. 2. Layers of Fear For a game about paintings, Layers of Fear sure knows how to f with your head. Set in a mansion, because all things creepy live and die within the four walls of rich people's old homes, we play as an erratic artist who attempts to complete his magnum opus as his home shifts around him. Moving down one corridor doesn't mean that you'll be able to return the same way back, as a broken painter's mind refracts everything around him into terrifying, warping, supernatural messes, which you've got to make sense of should you have any hope of finishing the dang painting. Considering the lack of actual combat or monstrous enemies, Layers of Fear is remarkable at creating a truly horrifying experience told through its piecemeal story alone, forcing players to figure out what's going on by interacting with an environment that really isn't very inviting. Learning the truth of both his story and his masterpiece is one best left unspoiled, but it brings a whole new meaning to an artist's body of work, huh? 1. Outlast one of the more infamous titles on this list, Outlast is almost classically creepy to a T, 
bringing together an old psychiatric hospital setting with a bunch of roving inpatients that have been set free. And unfortunately for us, it turns out that the products of inhumane experiments rendering them disfigured, insane, and ready to tear apart any sneaky, investigative journalist trying to figure out what's going on. Armed with your night vision camera and actually, that's about it really. In the same way as the Amnesia games, you're forced to run and hide, incapable of fighting back against enemies far stronger, stranger, and stabbier than you are. Outlast feels like a game built on making you struggle, packed to the brim with awful scenarios you're forced to watch, as well as continually offering a sliver of hope and an open door to freedom before wrenching it away again at the hands of Walter, a hulking presence hunting you through the claustrophobic building in full Mr. X style. Outlast might feel like a contrived environment at first, but that'll soon change when you're hiding behind a broken bed frame, praying someone's not going to come in and cut your extremities off. 